Hello, now I am going to demonstrate you how to use the Melger's knot or Misra's knot for a continuous structure like retrocecal appendix, like in mass ligation in college cystectomy. You will take PDS or monocryl. This is a knot pusher. First, you put one end towards the tail end of the knot pusher and then feed the reducer after feeding the reducer you go to the other end that is the head head end and put this on the head end of the knot pusher and now it is ready after that you will ask the assistant to have a reducer and catch the suture tip with the reducer with the Maryland so that only 2 cm should be out towards the concavity and then go into the reducer and slowly you will introduce it in once it is in then you have already a window form maybe in between the cystic duct cystic artery or inside a renal artery, a splenic artery and then you go behind. Once you will go behind then you will fly over to the bowel and catch that suture. Already a window is there and then bring the Maryland out and then catch the suture from the other side. After that you should feed the suture in so that there should not be any searing effect when you will pull it out. You can keep one instrument behind also so that there should not be any searing effect. And now the your suture is out. Once the suture is out then you have to tie the knot. For tying the knot again you will use either 232 two, that is Melger's knot or 111111 that is Misra's knot. So you will take this is one hitch, then you will take one wind, then you will take one lock, this is one lock, then you will take second wind, then you will take one more lock then you will take third wind and then you will take final lock this knot is secured up to the 22 mm diameter of the structure where you want suppose incomplete partial cholecystectomy or at the level of the neck now you hide it with the reducer and go in and here is the knot it's a beautiful knot now you pull it and decide where you want the knot you can adjust it according to your wish and then keep the tip of the knot pusher and tight it one again rotate it two again rotate it why to rotate so that it will not get entangled to the I and third, three times you have to tight it. It is very secure. It will not. It doesn't slip because it gets snugged with the tissue. And once it is snugged with the tissue, it is not going to slip. And then here you go, and you cut it. So this was regard. He see how nice dumbbell is formed that even you cannot see the suture also. This is a very nice dumbbell which is formed. So this is extracorporeal knot for continuous structure.